Today we have a Simic ramp deck featuring a Cure, of course. So her ability is you start the game with a fish, which is just a zero one creature. When you get to 10, 15, and 20 mana gems, she adds one of these uh, Krakens to your hand. So the first one is a uh, 10 drop 10, 10 with reach, sneak, ward, and can't be countered. So it's just extremely good for closing games. Big F you to control. Um, the next one is in a 10, 8, 8 that adds uh, with trample that adds plus eight, plus one, plus one counters amongst your creatures at random. So just let you build a big board. And then um, the last one is a 10 drop 7 7 that returns to enemy creatures to your opponent's hand. So if you both have like, you know, good board states and you're trying to uh, clear the way, so just uh, some good removal. So started off, I'll hail the crab. It's going to be in every blue deck that I play pretty much because you just need to survive. I didn't play the turtle because it's, you know, it doesn't have the trap synergy in this deck and this adds a blue card to my hand so it's just card advantage and it's a blocker early lore keeper is insane the value you get you just get i mean spells from all over the place and so many of the spells are so good so i this is one of my favorite cards in the game i think uh Tarmogoyf, um you know just good um also in this deck he's more useful on two because you can just block with the fish have a creature in your grave and then on two he can come down as a two three if you're in a pinch but Later, you know, he just drops for a lot of points for two. Um, three drop three three gives a creature minus two zero. So you, if you don't have a flying uh, blocker or way to deal with it, you can um, bring down into attack. Um, you can block with this and minus two zero something else. So an aggression like it almost answers two cards for one sort of thing. I wanted something to block flyers, so I'm running two of the soul of the wood and it heals yourself for three. Try and help you stabilize. Um, I did not go over her uh, key cards, I'll just do it here. Um, so best ramp in the game, three drop two two, just get an empty mana gem, it's pretty good. Uh, Major Insight, it's gonna be in every blue deck ever. Four drop three four draws a card, just super good. Shell game, we gotta have it, every blue deck needs it. Just gotta have some kind of good removal. The Shrine, four mana artifact, two charges, activate, gain empty mana gem. We're trying to hit 10, 15, and 20 so we can get our free giant boys. Nothing else to say there. Drag under is her removal. Um, puts an enemy creature into the top eight cards of your opponent's deck. It's pretty good removal. It's not, it's obviously not the best, but you know, it'll suffice. Titan just grabs us, uh, you know, from seven to nine mana so we can go straight into the worms. And then when you attack with him, uh, you immediately go to 10. So like you can um, go play him, go to nine and then attack before you play anything for your turn. Then it becomes turn, uh, you have 10 mana gems and then say you get the one that, um, um, I, I guess really just inform your decisions because it's not like you'd be able to play him, but you could know which one, um, which one you're gonna play the next turn immediately, so. Uh, he's just really good, obviously, in this type of deck. And if he sticks around for multiple turns, you can get to 15 really quickly. He's going to be in every green deck that I play that ramps just because he has reach and flyers are a problem if you don't have an answer. And then he debuts and fights something. So he's removal. He's a flyer blocker. His stats aren't terrible. So he's pretty much a stable for me. And then here we go. We're just going to make boards for no reason. And um, our opponents are going to be really mad when they see this card. So that's the deck, and I'm going to play a couple of games like always. Let's see what we find. All right, let's see what we're playing up against. Rascal. All right. Nothing early, so that's not a keep. Wow. I mean, I got a three drop. I run a lot of early game to try and make sure I live, so... Hopefully they... They don't draw... Okay, well... Never mind. Um... No. I'm not gonna summon a 2-1 to then not have a play next turn. So I'd rather use the mana gem and make it the 3-3 and then have some favorable blocks here. Yeah. 
Okay. Now I think it's okay with the crab. Can you keep a secret? Ooh, approach might be very clutch. I keep telling you guys this card just the value is so good. I don't even have one of these yet, and I get to play with it now. Um I'm gonna block here, and I'm not giving him the card. I'll take the two damage rather than do that. I could use some fresh subjects. Okay. So now this has relentless. Let's just play that guy. Let's pass. I might actually put this back in his deck that it has relentless because I don't want him to draw that many cards. Okay, that's a like a little pseudo fix. Is that what I want to do? I think I still want to do this. I'm not sure how it works if um, he fills up his board and then he sacks something off to put something in its place. Um, well, I guess then it also wouldn't come back because the board's full. So maybe it was right to just befuddle a merfolk. Um, let's see. Okay, well that's free. And this can block this again the next round, and I'll just take... Uh, you know what? I'll let him, I'll let him have the card. Five cards to five cards. We're not super far down in life. <clears throat> Some actual ramp would be nice. I might end up just having to play normally until he comes down. I've got the Befuddling Merfolk and the Neurobot next turn. It's not too bad. Oh, he's got six cards. Mm. Oh, because of the double finale trigger. Oh man, then the other guy would have been absolutely insane to just keep seeing. <laughs> okay. I will definitely reduce his power. analysis engaged. Okay. Yeah, I'll see if he blocks. If I was gonna test this, I should have swung first before I played the crab in the in the bot. Oh, the more in the bot. Okay, he didn't block anyway. This gains ten life, right? Or seven life? Oh. Nothing personal. Attack and make some room on the board. I don't care if he gets the 7 7. Nothing personal. Yep, yep. So I gotta block the 3 1. Okay, he wants to sack it off to the altar. Um, let's see what I draw first. Here's an idea. 
Okay. I think I will just play that over the fish. Yeah, then looks like I'm just gonna play the Titan next turn. Okay, that's more than fine. He's gonna wish he held had that still for next turn. Okay, so we'll do the one that can't attack. Satisfied. And we'll preserve as many things on my board as I can. Death is a part of Getting two of those is kind of scary, but I'm getting to the point where his giant stuff doesn't scare me. Um, yeah, let's swing out. See if we can keep clearing this up here. Of course. Okay, that's great news for me. And then we can play this into worms. And he can have all the mama mammoths he wants. The big mamas. Impossible. Yeah, don't care. <laughs> cool, and I have shell game for that, which I will just use next turn because I do not feel like getting hit for seven. Um, I think I'd rather just play this body rather than um, the Sylvan Shrine. Looks like a really good card to block the Mama Mammoth with. The card seems incredibly powerful. Sneak Ward in, can't be countered and reach. Like, they just weren't messing around with that. You don't die in I can brawl with it next turn and take it out. You don't die in the Death is a part of life. Yep. Yeah, if you use it on both, I'm just swimming. Okay, so he has one left. So now we can just swing, because this is going to die anyway, and he's just going to take it. Oh, thought he was just going to take it. That works. Um, don't have any other way of dealing the damage, so I unfortunately have to do this. Okay. And... 
think I will take this opportunity to try and get closer to my second Kraken. So one of those is Fatal Infection still. This is the one that bounces too? No. That would have been too clutch. Um. Now this is kinda nasty. Whoa, this is weird. <laughs> Um, yeah. I will take that. So that'll get the fatal infection out for sure. Yeah. You don't die in vain. Yeah. So he's got two more fatal infections. Let's see what he does. I don't think he's gonna let himself go to one. I'd be really surprised. Yep. Okay. Um. Yeah, good as turn as any. I actually really want to get the one that balances two things. And I'm just going to trade this into that 4-4. Hopefully he runs out of steam eventually. I'm certainly running out myself. has to block both of them, which is great news for me. You're next. Can you keep a secret? Oh, the head run line is interesting. Oh, because of that spell. Okay. Yeah, I'll take the thing that gives me other no things. This land is defended. I resent your fury. And then next turn, I'm just gonna bounce everything because it's gonna give me the Kraken, and then I win. That was a doozy. Yeah, and he knows, so. I mean, if he knows what Cure does, then he knows. All right, let's see what we get for the last game. Liara versus All right, let's see how this Raw deck is built. Or Ral is how they're pronouncing it in the game. And off we go. Okay, so we both just have the basic lands. Um, I'm gonna have the gem. I want to keep the Mage of Insight. All right, so I have a curve. So I'm just gonna skip turn one. I've heard you talk big game. And I've heard your food for big. Even if I can play Lore Keeper, I doubt he plays anything for one. 
He does. What was that? Okay, I mean that's... I think that was a very bad use of that card, just to get rid of a free fish. And it didn't go into his uh, two spell reduction uh, synergy, so... What is this? Ooh, that's that's nice. I'm telling you guys, lore keeper, it's the truth. Yep. No what? Nice. Got my removal. Hmm. Moon Madness. Thinking a lot for uh, turn four here. Idea. Yep. Okay. Got to keep in mind of lava wave. Anytime I play against anything red, that's not Chandra. Might be a spicy tech in Chandra though, because no one's ever going to play around it. And they have to play bodies to block you, even though it costs eight. Probably not playable, but would definitely catch people off guard though. Gotta move. All right. Yeah, that's not fair. Uh, even though it's not super efficient use of my mana, I will play that just to rank myself. How refreshing. His turns are taking quite the while. Okay. Here's a wild idea. Okay. I like that card a lot. That's a very good card. It's a good synergy. It's the first roll deck I've seen that has played it, and I think they probably all should, right? That's how he refuels, that's not bad. Okay, let's draw first. I will quench 
Let's make this thing less scary. Okay, what's he playing? At least that's both of them. I can stop worrying about him playing zero cost seven sevens. Okay. Makes sense. Could not block. Not sure why I couldn't block there. I'm gonna attack, see if he'll take the block. Just get some creatures down. I really don't know what made its work in block. What, uh, I don't know. Is that something to do with raw? Tell me in the comments, guys. I'm I'm really not seeing it here, right? Full charge. Was my finger like accidentally hit? Nothing. Okay, now it's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and do the one that's four, so that way either creature that lives can block it the following turn, right? Get it off the board. That is, unless I want to get rid of it now, which I, I don't. So I'm going to play the worms. I think I need more pressure. Wow, we got rid of it for me. I did not expect that. Does he have a way to deal... Oh, he wants the creatures off the board so their toughness is gone. So that spell can ping me hoping for game, but I'm putting a lot of bodies on the board, so it's not gonna split up the way he wants. Maybe he's trying to hold on to two of them. It's actually pretty clever. Yeah, he's trying to burn me out. Yeah, he only needs four pings out of the 10 to go onto me. I mean, I get that's almost half, but. Yeah, he's trying to increase the odds. It's very smart. Yep. Yep. I brought back up. Okay. I just want to put as many bodies on the board as possible so I can try and avoid dying to that thing. Wasn't expecting that. All right, we'll see. I'm 
Man, that's getting real deep. And if he gets it that way, good for him. Maybe this deck What's needs some more, um, some more heal. Mm. Yep, there he goes. Okay, so much better roll deck. Um, I'm not sure if there were different lines there I could have taken that would have made it to where I did not lose that. But yeah, that's the Kuroi deck. And honestly, I had um, a much harder time building the Kuroi deck than any other the, than any of the other decks I've built so far. Um, really wasn't liking her. Um, I wouldn't recommend anyone builds this. Um, it's just not that great. I was actually like at like 1,100 trophies before I started messing with her different builds and um, definitely not feeling it. Maybe there's a bunch of cards that I haven't pulled for her that um, would really improve the deck, but um, you know, she's not terrible, but I think there's just better stuff to be doing. But um, that's it. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do for the next one. Um, I was thinking about doing Vivian, but it's not set in stone. I'll decide tomorrow, but until then.